Dude, what are you doing hiding in the hydrangeas? Bro, come on, let's go. Grab some sunscreen. We're gonna go get some Zara. We're going surfing. Reviews from the tub. Reviews from the tub. Gonna review shit from my tub. What's up, dudes? <laughs> All right, man. Welcome to the show. You guys just, uh, what a what a wild show for you to tune in. You just got to see the worst California impression ever. Uh, <laughs> I'm all messed up, but, you know. <coughs> We're going California Pizza Kitchen on this one. Let me get a shirt. Hold on. It was, hey, man, who is cold in the Northeast walking around the condo without a shirt on? I get a little chilly there. All right, man. Uh, welcome to the show. Did I say that shit already? We got today from the California Pizza Kitchen. I believe it's a chain type Italian pizza restaurant. I've only been there once and I ordered like Mexican tortilla soup. But maybe it's some, like a Southern California thing. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, we went there because wrestling legend Tito Santana was going to be there. Uh, what a great day. He was signing his book, uh, Don't Call Me Chico. He's flipping pizzas. Uh, such a nice guy. We, we made pizza that Tito ate. Um, I actually reviewed the book he was signing. You can check out the description. Uh, in the description, I'll, I'll link to that video. Anyway, California Pizza Kitchen is not just in California. Come here, camera. No. Wait, you ruined my effect, you janky tripod. Oh, it's, is it broke? Oh, no. My tripod broke, dude. You're harsh in my mellow. God damn it. Ugh. All right. I can't shake the table or else I might be in trouble. Um, they're not just in the malls, bro. They're in your home. All right, man. We're two minutes in. Welcome to the show. I'm sorry I'm not in the tub. We're having lunch. My wife slash producer is out doing work type things on a Sunday afternoon. And... I'm going to need something to eat. And I was thinking about going to Popeye's for that new fish sandwich. Maybe later in the week. Because today we got barbecue recipe chicken with a crispy thin crust pizza topped with... Let me try to read this backwards. Barbecue seasoned grilled white meat chicken, red onions, cilantro, and mozzarella, and hickory smoked Gouda cheese over sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. Now, if that doesn't sound goddamn delicious and make your mouth water, I don't know what will. Uh... Maybe a large man without a shirt. You might want to throw this video back to the beginning. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Uh, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Check. Remove the box, plastic wrap, and cardboard. One A complete. One B complete. I'm sorry. Two B complete and two C. Two. Step two is done. Place your pizza directly on center oven rack. This seems like a terrible idea. Six to eight inches from the bottom of the oven. So I'm gonna have to get on my back and try to. Never mind. Nothing should come between a pizza and its oven. Skip the cookie sheet. This sounds dangerous. I feel like I should probably put this back in the freezer till it's time to go. All right, so the final step. <laughs> 15 to 16 minutes of baking time is usually just right for a crispy, delicious pizza. I don't really have time or I have time, I have 15 to 16 minutes. I don't have anything to discuss with you for 15 to 16 minutes. Um, how about I just pause this video and uh, we'll, we'll see you when the oven preheats. Oh, this is gonna be a goddamn mess, isn't it? Oh, I got an idea. I figured, some, oh, I'm so broad, goddamn smart. This is why I'm on the forefront of YouTubery. Look at what I figured out. Look at what I figured out. Because I don't trust this. So, the old just-in-case pan. All right, let's hit this oven for 15 to 16 minutes, and we'll see you then. Ooh, a squirrel.
It's ready. Shut up. I think it's done. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. So we got about a 12 inch, 14 inch, 12 inch pizza pie. Shut up! All right. <laughs> yeah, the chicken, the onions. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I need a new tripod. The barbecue sauce dried up on there. Usually when I do, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you from the table. <laughs> this is turning into a video, boy. So anyway, like I was saying, man, we, we are not uh, strangers to the barbecue chicken, buffalo, uh, not buffalo, bar barbecue chicken, Jesus Christ. Now this thing here said it was uh, one third of the pie was was a serving. I don't remember what the nutritional gimmicks were because I threw the box in the trash and I'm not getting it. With that said, if you don't want to do the buffalo, oh, God damn, the, the barbecue chicken, you can get yourselves a nice piece of flatbread, a nice rotisserie chicken, uh, hit the barbecue sauce, the chicken, get a little fry up, a little peppers and onions, throw that on there, whatever your cheese of choice is, and you got your own barbecue chicken pizza right at the house. It's friggin' delicious. What I do like to do is hit it with a little extra barbecue sauce. Uh, the barbecue sauce does dry out. If you're going to go barbecue sauce, the only option is Sweet Baby Ray's. You can tell me in the comments what your favorite barbecue sauce is. But... In the meantime, California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken recipe gimmick. And that's all right. That may have been a little hot. I had I tried I chewed it as quickly as possible. It tastes like white meat chicken with barbecue sauce with onions and cheese on a pizza. Like <laughs> this isn't bad. In fact, this is hella good. Nothing on this. Mm, maybe. Nothing on this tastes taste cheap or frozen pizza-y. Except for maybe the crust. The extent of my barbecue chicken pizza knowledge is... I've, I've ordered it from a pizzeria. Or making it at home. The homemade one, with you just get your own pre-made crust or a flatbread is just tastes better, fresher, less frozen, but not to be confused with like the shitty crust of your normal frozen pizza. This is actually in comparison to another, I don't know what the other brands are. Ilios is the king, but that's in its own class. Bobolet, I think it's just the crust. I was going to rattle off frozen pizza brands and all I could think of is DiGiorno. That might be the only one you need to know, but this is better. Like, this just tastes, it tastes like it's not a frozen pizza. Eight. Strong seven, week eight. Uh, seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. The crust is lacking. It did dry out a little bit. Um, so the additional barbecue sauce is the way to go on this as well. That's it, man. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Reviews from the Tub. Where we're usually in the tub. The next video I have planned will be in the tub. Go get yourselves one of these buffalo chicken... Uh, uh, God, I can't say it. California Pizza Kitchen. They got a white pizza. Um... Hold on, I'm a liar. I didn't throw the box away. I just didn't feel like looking for the uh, nutritional. <laughs> I did see it on here. Where did I get? Oh, I can White pizza, Sicilian recipe, oh, margarita, and four cheese. You can get those options. I mean, I would, I would not hesitate at buying another one of these California pizza kitchens. I think that's it. Oh, wait a minute. Later, dudes. Also, I'm sorry my California impression, like, in the beginning went, like, California, Australia. I didn't know what was going on. This is why I'm not a voice actor. 
This is why I'm a dude eating food and filling up space on his phone. It's memory. Bye again.